Hey, what is up, you guys? This is Kyle here from Sim Racing Streams, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get going in broadcasting. Basically, there's really nothing in the forums on how to do this, and you know, there's just some sites that help you, but it doesn't really show you in a crystal clear way. Uh, so, anyways, I'm bringing you guys this video series, uh, you know, to get people who want to broadcast up on their feet and just learn the basics of all the overlay softwares. So, first thing you want to do is you want to um, get your overlay software. Uh, that is called IRTVO, which stands for iRacing TV Overlay. You can find it here, link in the description. Basically, just go over to download. If you want to do some research, just go into the, uh, they, they do have a, w a wiki, so that's a lot of stuff you can do, and that, that can really help you out. Next, you want to get a screen capture, and that's, I use Open Broadcaster Service, or software. Um, it's basically a really nice program. I really do like it. It's, uh kind of like XSplit, but it doesn't use as many uh, processes. Uh, so, I think it's better. It's just my opinion. So, I use this. Uh, it's free. Just download it uh, for your platform. Uh, the next, this is only if you're going to be doing live stream, live broadcasting. Uh, just do a speed test. Uh, and keep the upload speed or results down. Just write on my sheet of paper, text document, whatever. And you know what? Right before uh, I continue, I want to tell you guys the difference between tape delayed and live broadcasting. Basically, tape delayed broadcasting is where you save a file to your computer, then you upload it to a video site such as YouTube. Uh, where live streaming is where you live stream to a site such as Twitch uh, and YouTube, uh, and then that video is live streamed as you're saying it's going into the internet and on the, to a YouTube video. Obviously, you're going to need better internet. I'm kind of unfortunate. I don't have the best internet, so most of my streams are actually taped, delayed, believe it or not. Um, what we're going to do next is, is we're going to want to open up our iRacing app.ini uh, so we can get the settings for our IRTVO uh, so it, it works fine. So how are you going to want to get this? You want to go to Documents, go to iRacing, go down to App. I use Notepad++. Notepad++ for text editing, just I think it's easier, but you can just use the regular uh, notepad that comes with Windows. So what you want to do, you want to uh, change three main settings, one of the which you might not need to change because you might already have it off. And so the first one that you're going to want to change is mute when focus is lost. So you want to change that to zero. Basically what this does is when you're clicking off the screen to change your overlay, it, it's, the iRacing is not going to mute. So set that to zero. Next, you want to go all the way down to graphics. And this is the second or required thing that you need to do is where it says reduce frame rate when focus lost uh, by default equals one um, just change it to zero basically what this does is when you click off it doesn't well when you click off the sim it doesn't you know drop your FPS on some of my earlier streams you guys can see that how the focus lost and the sound was off but I eventually changed it and the last thing that you might not need to change because I know people who run in windowed mode just make sure it's in windowed mode change it to zero. Uh, that's pretty much it for all the settings. Uh, so this is going to conclude the part one uh, of how to get started broadcasting and iRacing. So anyways, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that other great stuff. Share, uh, and stay tuned for the next video. Uh, that should be out in a few days uh, after this one. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.